everybody and welcome to video 8 in our mermaid series. Um, first things first, if you like this series of videos, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe and then you can see all of my videos. Um, I just uh, reached 800 videos, so there's more than 800 once I publish these. And there's been probably three books before this that have been published. So you'll have access, well you'll have access anyway, but I mean you'll know when I publish new ones. Okay, so that's it for that. That's it for the self-plug. Um, when we left off, we left off on page six. And so now we're going to go on to page seven. I did on page six, I added the word nymph and put that little lacy or paper lace behind it. Um, let's see. I keep getting this opening wrong. Oh, I keep trying to grab the pocket. Oh, I have to cover that magnet. Will this do it? Oh, goodness. Well, I'll go back and do it because I'm not sure. I think I need one of these. Oh, that's the same size as the little ones. I don't want to put a big one on there. I do have some big ones. Um, I may punch a small one out. I'm trying to find one that has, that isn't so dissimilar. I think it would be this one. I'm wondering if I can glue it down because it's not that big. I'd have to hold it. Okay, well, I'll try that. I can't believe I forgot to cover that magnet. What about this? That would be pretty. Remember, we're really, really inking the edges. I could use this one. I just don't want to forget it all together and then go through the flip through and have a magnet there. can't believe I didn't noticed that before. Well, I'm glad I noticed it. Not the best circle cutting job in the world, but it will work. I filled my glue, chopped it off with new glue, then I not really shook it up, but kind of went back and forth with it. Let's see if I can get this close enough to the edge. Let's put it so the light is shining down on it. Put it right over that magnet. I wish I'd have cut this down a little further and had the whole um, jellyfish on there. Kind of looks like a little hot air balloon, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so there's that. I should put something here. Okay, well, I'll go back and go through. I did add these here. You know, oh no, that's too big. I'm going to say because I have one more of those left and it's in purple. But I think it's too big for that. Anyway, so I did that. And I think I added these this card. And then I added this. Oh, we had this circle. Oh, that's what I didn't do. So I didn't put the stuff underneath it. Let's see if I can get it off. Uh oh. Okay, so I'll leave this lay up here and I'll put it back on with the lace stuff underneath it. Well, actually,
I didn't make the lace purple, but there's not that much sticking out, so I don't think anybody's going to notice. But there's a little bit on there, and that's all we need. Okay. So I did that just now. And then I went back through here and I added words. What happened here? The magnet doesn't hold now. That extra layer of paper makes the magnet not hold. There's the big pocket. Oh, what a bummer. What is going on? Something's going on. Oh, this is what's going on. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. That shouldn't have happened. But I went back through and added these little things. And under here, I think I did some under here. Actually, I need to. Anyway, I went back through and did some of that stuff. So now we're on page 7, if I ever get to it, huh? In page 7, I went ahead and put the magnets on. So I didn't forget. I didn't wait and put them under the paper. Um, and I made sure they were far enough in that when we cut the paper, they're under the paper. Barely. But I couldn't have these too far in, or the end would kind of stick out. So we've got that. Okay, so now to do page 7, there's quite a few sections to it. There's the main page 7, which is the one with the two magnets. Then there's A, B, C, and D. And I went ahead and put this on. So, this is everything that we're going to need. However, I did sort it out. This is page seven. Put this out of the way. Because I'll have to go back through a couple of times and make sure that the, um, any dots or anything that I need. Are on there. Okay, so all we're going to do for this. And we don't need this for that. Is put two. Acetate pockets and I believe. This one piece will do it. In fact, it's going to be way more than what we need. But let's, you know what we could do. I wonder if this would work. Let me put it this way. Let me put this one up underneath this way. And then we could have just one belly band. I think we could do that. And then we wouldn't have to have two. Good plan. Thought I'd eat. Here we go again, right? Have an inking party. We do the lighter colored on the paper. Quickly, quickly. This has a border all the way around, so you're not going to see it. I'm just covering the edges. That's why I'm not worried about 
making sure you see it, see it anywhere. Okay, so there's that. And then these two. going to be inked in the darker color. Which is good because apparently I'm not the straightest cutter in the world with scissors. This is part of the ephemera I had to cut out by hand. Then I'll probably stencil something on the back of each one of these. But I want to ink them in case I forget. I wonder if I should round the corners. No, mm -mm. these look like picture frames. I'm going to leave them square. I think these are two of the prettiest. So it's three o'clock in the morning. Almost time for me to take my medicine, which is four. So I'm hope, hoping we'll get done before. Well, if I sit here and keep thinking forever, we won't, will we? Um, before my alarm goes off because I forgot to turn it off. I forgot to turn that one on. to hold the cards in. It looks like that dot is in a weird spot from when I cut it for something else. Let me get this cut. That's going to go quicker than I thought. We, want, we won't have to finagle to get two of them on there. Now remember, this is a belly band, so we're just going to glue the two sides. I'm still a little sniffly. My voice has gotten a lot better. Now watch, it'll go wonky again. Okay. And you'll notice the Fabri-Tac spreads out the way I do it. And you don't see it at all, really. So we can actually glue this in. Yippee. Yippee skippy. Oh, you know what I didn't do? This is too wide. This is cut to size, so I'll lay it up there. 
I forgot to trim this down. See? I knew things were going too well. Oh, I'll have to trim the other one. I mean, the, um, the acetate. I'm going to see if I can get away with keeping this on. Mm-hmm, I can. Then we'll need to uh, round this corner. Uh, then we gotta remake the whole thing. So I really didn't want to cut this off or part of it off. It would have the line would have gone right through here. If I had gone with right where I drew it, so that should work. Now we can trim the plastic down a little bit, not very much. Probably just take the glue off that one side. Okay, and the glue's dry on here already. So all we have to do. Get whatever that is off. And then remeasure. And then glue it. We'll have to glue it where we had it before. Yep, it is. Just cutting off the glue. Mm -hmm. So let's re-glue it. Even though it looks like it's still sticking, which it is just a teeny bit, but it's not sticking enough to um, withstand doing the cards. Now, is that going to still work with this?
I'm trying to put them in the same amount from the top and the bottom. Very pretty. Can't believe I forgot to measure. So yeah, it's a little early. I've been up since about 1, but um, I was doing some stuff on my computer. Updating my database. Getting ready to do the drawing which will be way in the past when you see this. That turned out nice. I like it. I think it's pretty. Okay, so now, yeah, we are going to have, have to have this out. Um, let's go on to the next section. And... Oh, here we go. 7A and B. We're going to make a continuous picture all the way down. I think that was a belly band on the top to cover this tan. So, first of all, let's turn it upside down because we want to cut part of it off. So we're going to cut it off here. So let's do that. The reason I did it that way is obviously because we didn't want to cut it from that side. Obviously. Then I mean this one's a little bit smaller, I think, than this one. So we're going to have to measure individually. And we want to make sure her whole head is down here. Remember, there's going to be a little gap. So it's okay that there's a bigger gap up here. So let's put this here. Well, I want to cut it in half right here. Then we'll come back and we'll do the little bitty gaps after we move this up. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to have to, but just a smidge on the bottom of this one. When I mean a smidge, I mean that was just a smidge. Let's double check again. that one on. Perfect, perfect. It worked out easier than I thought.
This may end up being a short video. Do not know what is going on with my fingernails. I need to cut them. That's for sure. I like them real short. It helps me when I'm typing on the phone. Did I just ink this one? Oh, I think I wanted to do around that edge again. Now, if we round the edges in the center, well, we're going to have to. Yeah, we're going to do that twice. It's so annoying. Actually, we don't because I cut it over far enough that they're lined up. Here. And not. I just really don't think I want to round them. I think it's going to break the illusion. Why did that not cover the white? There's a little teeny bit of white there. Maybe I just missed that side. I'm not going to round them. I'm going to round them. This one on, then we'll put the belly band on the top one. And the belly band's going to go from top to bottom, not side to side. Yeah, that looks so much better. So that's way out there.
get cut too much off. Well, at least they'll be the same. You know what I mean? Even if they're short, they'll be short together. <laughs> so now let's take this. And we're going to cut her. Here and here. <laughs> that way we'll keep the picture in the center. In fact, why don't we do it this way? Let's put her all the way over here. Let's do her as a pocket. Or a tuck. No, pocket. Let's get her inked up. In fact, I'm going to trim that white edge off just a little bit. That turned out pretty. If you like half-naked mermaids. <laughs> well, technically they're three-quarters naked because they're not wearing any clothes over their tails. So then let's glue these three sides. Glue this on the paper, I mean in the book. Keep forgetting about measuring them to the flaps and stuff. It's like, okay, there's this paper, and we'll put that on there, and we'll stick it on, and then... Okay, let's line it up with that one. Okay, that turned out pretty. 
just like I wanted the effect of it going up and around. And then I don't really have See, I have this smaller card, but then just this blank area would show. This goes the wrong way. Plus, to me, she looks like Barbie. Yeah, I don't think that'll fit. I mean, I can make it fit, but... And the border wouldn't look right. So this is our closest match. We don't want to cut off the fish. Kind of funny that I'm still paper clipping them together. We have a whole bunch that we haven't used. There just wasn't any where to use these large ones, even though they're very pretty. This lady's been used already several times. They did like that one, even though it looked kind of fake. So this one's pretty. That one's pretty. This one's pretty. Well now, well, well, well. I still don't think we're going to need a need a closure. If we do, I've got an idea that doesn't cover up our cover. Our front cover and our back cover are just um, pictures. So I was planning on doing them in the next video when we do this page, because this page is very simple. I'm going to do Then maybe you could put a word up here. I don't know. We don't want it to be a big word. So I'm thinking gem. It's 
right there too. Nice, terrific, grand. I don't know where they come up with these words sometimes. I could think of a lot. Starfish, ocean, waves. Under the waves, that would be good. If I had good enough handwriting, I would make my own. I guess I could do it on the computer. Okay, this is how I'm doing these. I thought I would show you. It's very easy. I just happen to have one of these. Just the right size. And I'm just inking them with the purple ink because it's paper, remember? Get the white off. That's what I was talking about under that circle that I forgot to do, but I didn't have very much sticking out, so it's really kind of hard to tell. Then I'm just going to glue this little bitty word. To this. And then some of the glue is going to come through. But I'm going to put just a little bit more on. And we'll use that to put the word down. I'll put it right there. I like that. It's a fuzzy from oh goodness. Let's just leave the fuzzy alone. But it's a little fuzzy from the foam from the ink pad, so is that one. I think I've been leaving them on anyway. So there. Now we've got this one and this one. I think. Yeah. You guys are going to kill me. It took me forever, forever, to figure out what I was going to do. And I know it doesn't seem like it should have. But you have to think about all the different ways that you've already done things. And then try to do something a little bit different at least. This was not a super complicated book. It just had quite a few little flips and pages and such. Let's cut this paper. Oh, it's the same as that. Oh no, that's the same as that. This is different. Okay, so we want it here to here, there to there, and down to there.
Does that look crooked to anybody else? You know what? I think the page goes downhill a little bit. Yes, that's much better. I cut it crooked somehow. No, this is this is crooked. I don't know how I didn't have the problem on the other side. Because, see, it gets farther away right here as well. If you make this straight, then these are crooked. Yeah, see, it's the same way on this side. So, I don't want to do it this way anyway. All right, let's round the corners. I want the darker side to be next to here. Let's decide where we want this pocket. I don't think we have any choice. And in fact, we're going to have to trim just a smidge off. Because of the rounded. Um, corner. What if we round the corner of the pocket? Then what would happen? Oh yeah, we could do that. It does have a black line around it though that I just cut the corner off of. go with that.
then since there's this image on here, then we should be able to get away with maybe one of those planar cards. We'll try to get this on as best we can. For some reason that fabric tack is really smelling this morning. Those spider webs of glue. I think on the front, we left more here and put it up against on there. Hmm. That one's small. Now for this, I'm going to do this. Isn't that beautiful? It's not time yet, buddy. Well, actually it is, but let me do this one last paper. So we definitely want this whole thing on here. So let's cut it off here. Then we'll cut it off here so that it's even with the other one. Oh, I didn't do the middle part. around these corners. And then we'll ink it, we'll glue it on. And then we'll be done. Sorry, I haven't talked very much in this one. It's probably why we got done so quick with all this big section that I didn't even think for sure we would get done with it all. But really, the um, elements 
that we added to the pages and whatever are very simple. So, but I think effective to show off the mermaid um, images and underwater. It's just, so, I just love this picture. Get all of this out of our way. Everything's going so well. I was thinking of Moulin Rouge, the movie. What is that? All right. I digress. Then I'll put a word down here. Okay. All right. Well, we got this done. I think it looks nice. Lots of mermaids. Mermaids, mermaids everywhere. And then we'll get a card for here. A little too big, isn't it? Cut it down even more, and it would probably fit. So, I don't know. Let's see. Of course, that horizontal one with just the fish. Yeah, we could cut that down a little bit and put it in there. What does it look like sticking out though? Hmm. Anyway, all right, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video. That will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>